Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Reading Through the Bible in a Year. I hope you all are having a blessed morning. It's been a little bit of a rough, rough weekend for me. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't get a reading out yesterday. I just haven't been feeling real well. So, we'll get this done now while the puppers are sleeping. Because I'm not feeling real well today either, but... I got the Lord, and I know he'll help me feel better soon. And one restless puppy, maybe he'll get laid down here in a minute. Anyway, we're going to be back in 2 Samuel, chapters 5 and 6. And yes, we have some of those names that I embarrassingly butcher, but hey, we do what we can do, right? So here we go, Second Samuel chapter 5. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron, and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, thou wast he that lettest out and broughtest in Israel, and the Lord said to thee, Thou shalt feed my people, Israel, and thou shalt be captain over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king, to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years. In Hebron he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years over all Israel and Judah. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither thinking David cannot come in hither. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, the same is the city of David. And David said on that day, Whosoever getteth up to the gutter and smiteth the Jebusites and the lame and the blind that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come, into the house. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Milo and Endor, or Milo. And David went on and grew great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David in cedar trees and carpenters and masons, and they built David in house. And David perceived that the Lord was established him king over Israel, and that he had exalted his kingdom for his people Israel's sake. And David took him, more concubines and wise, wives, out of Jerusalem, after he was come from Hebron. And there were yet sons and daughters born to David, and these be the names of those that were born unto him in Jerusalem. Okay, here we go. Sham, Shamua, and Shobab, and Nathan, and Solomon. Ibar, also, and Elishua, and Nepheg, and Japhia, and Elishama, and Eliada, and Eliaphalet. And when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek David. And David heard of it and went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephraim. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Wilt thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up. For I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. And David came to 
Baal Perazim, and David smote them there and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon mine enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name of that place Baal Perazim. And there they left their images, and David and his men burned them. And the Philistines came up yet again and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass upon, fetch a compass behind them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be, when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, then that then thou shalt bestir thyself. For then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And David did so as the Lord had commanded him, and smote the Philistines from Geba until thou come to Gazer. Chapter 6 Again David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, thirty thousand. And David arose and went with the people that were with him from Baali, of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of God, whose name is called by the name of the Lord of hosts that dwelleth between the cherubims. And they set the ark of God upon a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab. Abin Abin My goodness. That was in Gebeah and Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab drave the new cart, and they brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was at Gebeah, accompanying the ark of God. And Ahio, Ahio went before the ark, and David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all manner of instru instruments made of fir wood, even on harps and on psalteries, and on timbrels, and on cornets, and on cymbals. And when they come, and when they came to Nashon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God, and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error. And there he died by the ark of God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. And he called the name of the place Pira Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How shall the ark of the Lord come to me? So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto him into the city of David. But David carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obedim, the Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord hath blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that pertaineth unto him, because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David with gladness. And it was so, that when they bare the ark of the Lord, had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in its place, in his place, in the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And as soon as David had made an end of offering burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. And he dealt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel, as well to the women as men. 
to every one a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. So all the people departed, every one to his house. And David returned to bless his household. And Mishael, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of his servants, as one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovered himself, uncovereth himself. And David said unto Mishael, It was before the Lord which chose me before thy father, and before all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore will I play before the Lord, and I will yet be more vile than thus, and will be base in mine own sight, and of the maidservants which thou hast spoken of. Of them shall I be had in honor. Therefore Mishael, the daughter of Saul, had no child unto the day of her death. And that will do it today for Second Samuels uh, 5 and 6. So I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed Sunday, um, that you have health and happiness. Be kind to one another, and thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And especially to my new subs, I hope you enjoy these readings. Some days they're better than others. <laughs> but we do appreciate everybody that stops by. Thank you so much. We love you. Have a great day.